Everybody's doing something. We'll do nothing. I think I might be able to help with the Pan Pam dilemma. We've come a long way since Frank the Tank, and we don't want him coming back now, do we? The local big time show. Super duper. That's nice. News of the day what do you would be holy shit Aaron Rodgers immunized from the from the playoffs <laughs> that poor bastard <laughs> he Aaron can't catch a Aaron Rodgers he can't catch a fucking break oh my god I really wanted it to be an unvax versus vaccinated Super Bowl because that would have just been hilarious content oh my god yeah he just and he just looks so defeated too. Like he's rattled. What else can I do to try to to try to win? Like he's already the best quarterback. I mean, Brady's he's great. Back to back MVPs. Yeah, Brady's the goat. Don't get me wrong. For career, Brady's the goat. But for skill set alone, I think Aaron takes the cake. Oh my god, yeah. I would say Brady's the best leader and team guy. I would say Rogers is just pure talent. Just pure skill and talent and repetition. He he's, is just all repetition. He's just like uh he doesn't I'd say Patty Mahomes can throw the ball farther, but Rogers Yeah, I think Patty Mahomes came to the planet with a little bit more talent than Rogers. Yeah, but I think Rogers has it though, because he can drop dimes. Oh, raw talent, yeah. Raw, just he's like a, he's a gun. He's an old Western gunslinger, like at quarterback. Rogers like wants to take hair, your heart out. Long hair, the beard. He like he can run too. Like he people forget how fast he is. He can run the ball. He's mobile, and then he just launches these fucking darts down the field. Yeah, They're and between like the ears, he's just missiles. a straight assassin. Right? Like, he's, he's just so like, calm under pressure. Every time he has the ball, there's a chance. To, like, I just feel bad because he puts the ball on people's hands and they just drop it. Like, he yeah. just puts it on a rope. It's he crazy. makes it so clear that the wide receiver made the mistake and not him. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's it's... like, well, I touched your hand with it. So I don't know what you want me to do from there. I can't catch it for you. <laughs> like, I, I get why he's frustrated. Like, there's no talent around him. All he does, like, if yeah. you put Rodgers on Tampa Bay, they'd probably win seven straight. <laughs> well, here's the thing. This year they had some – this is why I think he's so defeated this year is because they had a, some decent talent on that team, right? Like they got yeah, Adams not really, and running though. back. They have like a good what? running back and one good wide receiver. That's it. Right. They only have two superstars. They need yeah. more. Right. Yeah. But, but everyone... they should have won that game. That has no – Oh, that yeah, has no mind. relevance. See, that's where that's where I think he's getting killed this morning, right? It, it, oh. Is that I think he's going, yeah, that all may be true, but that had no bearing on the game last night. <laughs> they should okay. have smashed the shit out of that fucking San Francisco well, team. I never really had faith in the Packers going to the championship. I don't know. I I always felt like they're a choke job because – they never really You're 100 percent correct. You're 100 percent correct. But they, they don't. Their talent doesn't really. That, people but like against oh, that San Francisco team. Oh, they suck. They should have won. You have they Debo, still should have won. Debo Samuel's is your running back and your wide receiver. And your wide receiver you and your if you can't figure out that if you can't <laughs> figure out that play, <laughs> just like all you had to do is put five guys on him, you could have easily. Not to mention he's running on one leg, right? You see him last night. He's like limping around oh, on yeah. one leg. Like it's the craziest part is you haven't figured out that this guy's gonna touch the ball almost every other play. Let's see. <laughs> he accounts for eighty percent of the play. <laughs> like if he's not getting it in a pass, he's gonna run it. <laughs> yeah. That guy's unbelievable. Unreal. But th for my prediction And then what's the other game was how about the Bengals? What do you think about Okay, so you want to hear my gambling predictions? I'm one for two. I said Bengals, Packers, Bills, Rams. You say okay. You say Bills, Rams today. Okay. Yeah, I don't think do I you, love do Brady. You... I don't think he has what it, I think the Rams tee off on him. I think the Rams are cooking. They're cooking. They're heating up. I if think the Rams choke again. That's just gonna be those poor bastards. 
they're another team that's going to be like, what more do we have to get? And you to traded beat Tom Brady. your whole future away to like you have you don't have another first round draft pick for like six. I years. know, but like they don't need it, and all those guys want to stay there. So it's like they, they oh. have it. Their team is what you build in Madden. Okay, Donald oh, yeah. Ramsey. That's what you want to draft in your fantasy league. <laughs> Odell Stafford, the white kid. <laughs> yeah, right. Cup, Cup, he's awesome. Cooper Cup, the other guy, right? Like they are what you build. So if Brady beats them, that's gonna be crazy. I think. Uh... What's the betting line? Do they think the Rams are gonna win? Let's pull it up. Uh, no, I think it was the spread was one twenty five. I think let's pull it up here. Who are both you taking? Of these games. Who are you taking for both your, of these uh, games today? Are gonna be crazy. Who Who are you picking for today? For t- today? Yeah, you got Bills. I think I think today's games were the ones that. I mean, yesterday's game was spread. Today's oh, game. Oh, this one's a pick them. So the spread is two point five. Rams, Bucks, and then, wow, they're both pickums. Bills, Chiefs is one. Wow. Well, I'm gonna take the Bills in the Bills game because I love the story, and I like that Bill, it's somebody from our territory. <laughs> yeah, and I well, I like that it's from somebody from our territory. And I like Josh Allen. I think he's, I like his personality. I think, you know. I think the Bills, I, I think the Chiefs are terrible. All it takes is one good defense, and that's it. I mean, they're, they're playing deep. in Buffalo, Sam. Like, do you know yeah, how fucking get cold killed. that game is going to be? Yeah, they're going to get killed. They have no running game. I think Buffalo's going to spank them. I don't know about spank, but I think Buffalo takes it. And then in the. Not spank. I would say they yeah. beat him by like 10. And then in the other game, what I think is going to happen is I think the Rams should win, but I think that the legacy of Tom Brady is going to do another is going to drop another bomb on everybody's Doubles head. down on on the Rams for a fourth. I just time. think the universe <laughs> loves Tom Brady, and it's going to take this opportunity again to show is everybody. Tom Brady the Rams biggest enemy because he's defeated him in like four Super Bowls. <laughs> oh my god, right? Yeah. And then they moved to LA and they still can't get can't by. Can't get him. away from him. <laughs> <laughs> can't get away from his fucking guy. Yeah, the greatest show on turf couldn't beat him. Moved to LA, couldn't beat him again. <laughs> I mean, the, honestly, the whole NFL must feel like that, right? Like we can't he beat get away all from all 32 this. teams. He's the only yeah, guy like you can't get away from this fucking guy. He just keeps coming back. Yeah. He's like the fucking Thanos gold arm, you know, with like the diamonds. Right? Bill Belichick is like the dark Sith Lord from Star Wars. <laughs> and Brady is like Thanos for sure. <laughs> from Marvel. <laughs> like just put, putting all the like the weapons around him. Each diamond is like yeah. Gronk and... Antonio, but I think I think the Bucks they're just too banged up right now. So many injuries. Yeah. Name I agree. one wide receiver that they got going today. <laughs> I agree that all those things are true. <laughs> but I also know that there's something going you know on the crazy in part the Tom is? Brady world that we you can't know, understand. <laughs> you know the crazy part about Tom Brady is Tom Brady's such a great leader that he's taken the, the janitor with a pump-up speech who's going to run through a brick wall for him, right? So that's why, like, that guy, just him putting his hand on your shoulder and go, hey, we need you today, and you're, like, yeah. uh, a guy who signed off the practice squad, you're going to get so much confidence from that and just fucking light guys up, like, get fumbled. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, Brady, when, like, Brady walks up to you and goes, hey, I need you to come through today. You're going to do great. You're going to be like, oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, yes. I think when like you're you when you have that sort of like mythos about you that you're the greatest of all time, the kind of confidence that you can kind of wield towards other people is like huge, yeah. right? Like, can, like his that speeches, guy tells you you made a nice catch, you're like, oh my god, 
Yeah. Like, he's the great. <laughs> Thank I mean, you so much. The craziest part is too is like thanks his... for throwing it to me. <laughs> every time I every time I see those little pump up speeches he does, I get so fired up, and I'm just watching on the couch. <laughs> yeah, and you're just like a guy. <laughs> <laughs> like imagine him in the get like in the locker room before the game doing that. I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna kill yeah. anybody. <laughs> we got some great topics for today. I'm excited. Uh, the first one I want to start with. Take a little sip. I love these yerba drinks. Yeah, they're great. Who yeah. makes them? Uh, What's the company name? I don't know if that it says organic here we make uh Gwinyaki. Okay. Gwinyaki. Fuck. I'm not I'm gonna Well we're gonna butcher the name, but we would love to have <laughs> you sponsor our podcast. Been, been avoiding uh reading out loud since ninety two, so not not but hey, for it. We will drink the Yerba all day. <laughs> oh, all day. I will suck the sweet teat of the Yerba. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wear the but, hat. We'll put the t-shirt on. <laughs> yeah. I will sell out. You know the best part about local big time? We're willing to accept we will sell out <laughs> like like oh they God, did we, in Domino's. If there or, is uh, a like they did in Wayne's of, World. Yeah. We will Wayne's World anything. <laughs> well, it probably more if it's a product we'll use. But Yeah. It's mostly something that we have to use on a daily basis. Yeah. Like weed. Or the yerba. <laughs> Marijuana or yerba. <laughs> <laughs> Either one. Either one I want to come first. Or Diet Cokes. If Diet yeah. Coke costs Diet Coke. Country, I'm sucking <laughs> Diet Coke now. So you just IV. made a grocery list and you reached out to every company. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> bread. You reached out to a bread company. <laughs> bread company. Yes, this is the kind of English muffin company that I would like to have to <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, it's just the way they toast. They toast so yeah, good. They really know how to put an English muffin together. <laughs> you also, please tell me you didn't reach out to the lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Local farmer. <laughs> That would, those would be the best sponsorships. You'd have the best merch because nobody else could get it. It's just right? some guy who doesn't speak any English yeah. with the t-shirt on. Tom Burns that. Lettuce Farm. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's Hot Dog Stand, yeah, Route exactly. 128. <laughs> I tried to get Flo's Hot Dogs, but they wouldn't They wouldn't do it. Flo's Hot Dogs from Maine. Oh, I love Flo's, Remember Flo's? Hot Dogs. Oh, I'd even God. do it. Pink's Hot Dogs in LA, if you're listening. Pink's? Pink's hot dogs want to give us a run. Any hot dog stand, we are hot dog connoisseur. We, we are hot dog. dog. You know what I had? I had a nice little chili cheese last night. It was beautiful. <laughs> I had a hot dog last night from a place called Skips. <laughs> no uh, joke. No joke. Last night, hot dog from a place called Skips. Yeah, I went to Al's place? French fries. I got a, I got a couple oh, chili cheese. All you Vermonters. Every, yeah. All you Vermonters loving Al's. I love that place. That place oh is old time diner, like the tile They floors. haven't changed that griddle top in 40 <laughs> years. <laughs> that thing hasn't been scraped. You're eating hot dog grease from the fucking silent era. <laughs> oh, shit. It tastes so fucking good. I too. love that place. I hope and they're they the never thin change. patties, too. Never change. They're so thin, and they're like you order like, you know, like five yeah, of them. Like nine hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, I get the <laughs> double cheese. Oh, oh, so Big Steve made me pick up his car. I love the self drive to the airport. Doesn't want to let you drive, but then you have to pick up the car, so it's like even more work. <laughs> so uh, I was like, all right, if we're doing this, I'm like, let's go to Al's. So scooped it, got the the chili cheese. For sure, on the way. Oh yeah. It's right there. It's perfect. Um, so I think I hit the lowest point in my life this week. Um, is there no worse feeling than when you go to wipe and your fucking knuckle drags into the bowl, <laughs> into the water? It's like the fucking... That's terrible. <sighs> your heart just sinks, too. You're like, this fucking sucks. Here's the funny <laughs> thing about toilet water is that 
toilet water, you could have an absolutely clean bowl of toilet water. <laughs> and if you touch that stuff, it's like you've touched acid, right? Like <laughs> yeah. for whatever reason in our brains, like the water in the toilet bowl is like the worst thing in the world you could touch. You just think of all the shits and <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah. And throw up all the residual shits spoiling even the good water. <clears throat> I love when you, uh, I don't love it, but you know, you, you know, when you go to wipe and your, uh, it just breaks and your hand fucking just gets shit. Yeah. What's worse? This is why I only slower? buy, this is why I only buy thick clothing because yeah. if towel, you have thin, paper. To, yeah, if you have thin toilet paper and you go to wipe aggressively at all, it's over. that is it's breaking over. in your hand. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> It's not holding up. It's just not holding up. The friction so. just melts it apart. Yeah. Oh. No. Thick toilet paper only. What's worse? Double ply. Getting your hand, dipping it into the bowl, or getting shit on your finger. <laughs> I mean, I think it's the same thing, right? It's the same difference. <laughs> it's the same thing. They're both awful. Either one. I love... I love the skin marks that some guys will get on their boxers. I don't love them. What do you mean you love them? I do not love them. It's just the fun thing. It's Wipe disgusting. your ass appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> like, they don't need a class. It's just, why is your asshole stained like shit? <laughs> Actually, I was saying that... <clears throat> I love how everyone says like snowy, like zero degree weather is football weather. Yeah. When like any football player that's ever lived on this planet would tell you that it's absolutely fucking miserable to play in that weather. Like the best football weather is 75 degrees, sunny with a light breeze. That's the fucking best football weather. Okay. So I'm from a cold weather place. It's terrible to play <laughs> football in the fucking cold, zero degree snowy weather. It's much more fun to play in Florida. <laughs> well, maybe not Florida because the humidity, but California for sure. California, Arizona, sick places to play. Yeah. How about, uh, did you see that the Packers didn't even have 11 guys on the field for their last field goal? I know, right? <laughs> It's just like, what are you, what are you doing? doing? And block punt, block field goal. The block punt, man. That's really that's dagger. They, these mother, I okay, Sam I Fran. For, I give them respect. But they couldn't score to save their goddamn lives. They couldn't score. That's how they scored. That's how they got the seven points. <laughs> that's like, the craziest part. Without that block punt, Packers win. Like, how unlucky is Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> That's uh, this guy is probably sitting on his couch. Like, Whoa. how the fuck am I out of the playoffs? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he is a super rich, wealthy dude. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> so I feel bad for him, but I feel secure in how he's getting taken care of. <laughs> so yeah. he's just he's doing just fine this morning. <laughs> Dabo run a kickback. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's he's probably heartbroken, but if there was ever a place to be heartbroken in, it would probably be at his home, <laughs> sitting yeah, in his mansion. Sick. I bet it's sick. So, yeah, I mean, uh, he may to... already be in Hawaii, probably. <laughs> so the video's been uh, removed, obviously. Wow. Like bad PR for dunks, but uh, basically what so, happened well, is employees... Tell me what happened. Employees, like, last day of work just decides to expose, like, how the donuts are made. Okay. And uh, it, basically she said they come in frozen and they're just dethawing them in, like, an oven, essentially. Right? Uh-oh. So this is the comment section. That's going to hurt you. <laughs> from the post, right? Let so me tell the, you something. That's going to hurt you. <laughs> oh. My favorite part is, uh, I'll explain my piece after. We'll, we'll dissect some of these comments. So this is the screenshots of the comments from the uh, viral post. It had like, I don't know, close to, they said. 
Wow, I'm reading some of these. These are not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. So it had like my life has been a lie. (laughs) Oh my god! It had like a hundred. Dang, Duncan is grimy all this time. I thought it was pre-made, not frozen. Okay. Yeah. So my favorite. Let me read some of these. Hold up! You tell me the donuts morning were fresh made. Are there more? Can you scroll down? Oh, that's it. Those are all the. uh... (sighs) Oh my god! Well, this one. I guess there's a couple. Yeah. My uncle owns several donuts. The donuts used to be made fresh every day, but that changed many years ago. Now they are made somewhere else. Wow. Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. I love Dunkin' Donuts, too. Oh, Casey Affleck loves Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I'm well, we know how much Casey loves when he did that commercial. <laughs> I'm drinking <laughs> That's one of the greatest it. commercials of all time. One of the greatest. <laughs> or it was a fake commercial, accurate. right? What? It was one of the one of the most accurate things ever. Most accurate commercials I've ever seen. Yeah. Represented of what mass holes are 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 to yeah. a T in their core. You will find nine out of ten people in Wakefield fill that fill that type. <laughs> All construction workers, mostly pavement guys. <laughs> One of the greatest lines I've ever heard from a buddy. A lot of, that, a lot of two smoke boarding guys. One of my favorite lines I heard from a buddy who's uh he like grew up in Wakefield and then like he got a place in, in South Shore. So his his parents come over to check out his place. <laughs> yeah. And the dad the dad you know how Wakefield guys are, right? Just construction yeah. workers. They don't even go to college. Like right after salt high of the earth, salt of the earth, right? They work like the. They're such hard workers, and like they just don't have like they don't take days off too. Like they don't they don't go on vacation, even though they're in construction. <laughs> yeah, but uh, hard days. So. <laughs> so the dad and mom come to check out the place in South Shore or uh, yeah. South Boston. And, you know, South Boston is now everything's like unbelievable million dollar. Like, yeah, uh, South Boston sort of got flipped. Got, flipped. Yeah, bruised up. Flipped in like two seconds, right? So yeah, I have like four or five buddies that live there. So now uh, <laughs> my favorite part is he goes, he goes, in the 90s, you wouldn't even go down here at nighttime. He goes, now there's a Whole Foods. <laughs> 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 that's the greatest line I've ever heard. But That's uh, the thing. That's how fast real estate can change, right? In the 90s, you wouldn't come down this. Now they got a Whole Foods, right? That's so <laughs> true. There's a fucking Whole Foods everywhere. Oh, yeah. Those, those motherfuckers, they've sort of figured out how to take organic and make it somewhat reasonable. I mean, it's really expensive, but... Yeah, but they're crushing it, and it's automated, so they don't even have to pay people. Well, and there's – listen, I mean, you and I, we sort of follow the the old attache. You can pay a lot of money for organic food now up front, or you can pay for whatever the hospital bills are <laughs> for the Open accumulation of, you know, it at the end. It's wherever you want to do it, you yeah. know? My favorite part is I, I work at a hospital. I There is now, I think everyone needs to work in healthcare for a year just to see what it's like to not take care of your body because there is a very distinct correlation between eating dog shit process, processed food yeah, and taking care of your body, eating fruits and vegetables because these people that come in, they drink Mountain Dew by the gallon. Like They're eating like... Like the the meat that they get is like from the gas station. Like it's not right. real meat. <laughs> They're, yeah. Everything's microwavable. <laughs> like it's terrible. And they're always anything that you buy that's not that can't rot in four days or five days. That thing is probably hurting you more than it's helping you. Oh my god, that's the craziest part. Is my my so, favorite like that's is... just a flat rule. If the thing that you have won't go bad in like five days or six days then it's Walk probably away. i mean with the exception of like if you get beef yeah it can last long but walk away but you know what i'm saying if it's not if it's on the shelf for weeks 
it's probably not great for you. No. <laughs> that, with that being said, I will crush a bag of Doritos after I get stoned on a Saturday night. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what do you think? Taco Bell, 2 a.m. is the So great now that I've gotten up on my high horse, let me go right ahead and, and tell you that I will crush a thing like Ben and Jerry's <laughs> every weekend if I want to. <laughs> I literally hammer, hammer McDonald's at like 11 a.m. Yeah. I don't know, 11 I'm about to hammer McDonald's right now. Shannon just went to go get some. The McGangbang. That's my favorite sandwich. Yeah, right. There was another. Oh, did you show me the video of the. There was another thing that they tried. It Okay, there's a another si secret sandwich. What is it's, it? Yeah. Type in, go on Google, type okay. in <laughs> McDonald's secret sandwich breakfast uh, okay okay well, this one blew my mind i just want to say before we leave this page the people that yeah. thought the donuts were cooked at dunkin donuts are have you You're seen an idiot. People, have you seen the people that work at dunkin donuts okay yeah, they're not fucking bakers, they're not gourmet okay? chefs what did you think of course we're not, not, the, we're not in the south of france okay <laughs> this guy we're can't even spell dunkin croissant what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't even spell croissant. What do you think? He's cooking it? <laughs> he's like, you're at a fucking French pastry? <laughs> fucking idiot. What were you, Belgium? <laughs> like, this ain't I, Amsterdam. I knew, like, you needed a video. Like, I knew, I thought, I was surprised that people thought it was fresh. I, that's what I was like. I, I assumed it was frozen. <laughs> like, have, have you well, met people, the guys? People thought it was actually People baked and made the donuts here. At you the thought this donut. guy who didn't take any culinary classes whatsoever is now a master chef oh my God. With, with bakery? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fred, the cross-country kid from down the street in the high school. Yeah. Oh, the one that was in uh, – the one that went to tech school after junior year? <laughs> yeah, he's fucking waking up at 3 a.m. rolling out fucking eggs and dough. Yeah, you, have you? They those people cook microwave food for themselves. Okay, oh they God. don't know how to cook. Period. <laughs> uh, how about the uh, the old uh, ten thirty fast food breakfast cutoff time? Yeah, it sucks. Let me tell you something. That is a hard line time that they hold. Line in the <laughs> sand. <laughs> it is a dead sprint line in the sand <laughs> if you right. do not open your mouth before the 10 29 cut off you ain't getting breakfast oh no. they're the they uphold that law to a fucking t <laughs> oh my god i've seen people go to war over 10 the 10 30 it's like, like no i was here before 10 30 yeah and i go is not there all day breakfast no, just some <laughs> items, like one. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what they did was... The McMuffin. Because, well, because they were starting to have wars because of this 1030 cutoff, right? So what they did was then they started adding some, like, all-day breakfast items. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing they, they did a, uh, a SWAT analysis and they found out that the McMuffin was like... Yeah, all they had to do was go on YouTube and type in McDonald's fights and they could find <laughs> out that people wanted breakfast past 1030. <laughs> So we found out that most of the altercations were caused because of the McMuffins. <laughs> most of the altercation was because I didn't give this guy an egg sandwich at 10.35. So Any we found we... out, let's just put some of the more popular items on yeah. the, for the all-day breakfast. <laughs> so funny. What's this? Oh, the um, secret menu. So we yeah. just stumbled okay. upon one of the greatest websites. I got to grab this pen here real quick. No. Okay. This thing looks fucking awesome. I don't know why I didn't Google this sooner. We kind of stumbled upon a rabbit hole here. We could be just doing secret menu items for the next four hours. Yeah. So the rest of this podcast is probably going to be this because this is pretty fucking crazy. This is holy fucking, shit. Yeah. There's twelve items. Yeah, this is uh, crazy. So we start out with the big oh, chicken. Is it? Is it all right, bub? I'm sorry. It was 
free for a few sips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's no. All right. So wait, no, go back, Sam. Go back to the first menu. Thank this you. is the first thing. No, no, no. Go back. I want to read some of these names. Oh. Okay. So hold <laughs> on, because we should pick like the best name. Right? Oh, I, I think we should just scroll through. You're gonna want to read. I looked through them all real quick while you're gone. Okay. You're yeah. gonna want to. You're gonna want to check out every item because it's fucking bananas. The my crazy. favorite, my favorite that I kind of peeked at, land, sea, and air burger. That thing is <laughs> oh gonna, that thing. You're There's not gonna a have secret McDonald's menu item called the land, sea, and air burger. Yeah, you're this not gonna crazy. have diarrhea for one day. You're gonna have diarrhea for <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> You're going to be calling your doctor because you're so nervous. <laughs> They're going to be giving you fucking stool hardening pills. To oh, just... my God. Stool softening pills. Okay. Oh, the oh, land. Stool hardening, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, gonna be, let's start this. Gonna be okay. so much iron to try to block that fucker up. <laughs> 10% brand, 20% brand. Yeah. So just eat a whole loaf of bread and then have yeah. the old land, sea, and air burger. <laughs> I'm going to want to get some divers. <laughs> All right, so day. the first item here is called the Big McChicken. Yeah, I'll let you read okay, it. Okay, we've, we've all, yeah, and we've all sort of had this one, I feel like. everyone. This, this one doesn't, okay, the concept similar to that of KFC's infamous Double Down <clears throat> packs beef between McDonald's tender chicken patties. With this crazy secret option, an ability to pack either a Big Mac or a McDouble between the chicken patties. Okay, so essentially it's basically a beef patty between two chicken patties. Pretty good item, but a little simple. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah. That's <laughs> just soft. It's like a reverse okay. gang bang. This one's called the two cheeseburger meal. That just feels like a regular menu item. What's looks going stupid. Now this area here, this looks oh, like it, this is going to cause some chicken. Pain. This one's yeah. going to cause some digestive issues. Yeah. The chicken McGriddle. <laughs> Warning. This product has limited availability. Most tailored toward the sound. Okay. Oh, shocker that the yeah, uh, shocker, chicken right. McGriddle. That being said, it's a sound. highly popular item among those that have tried it. For this reason, we highly recommend giving it a taste test. Get your hands on it. The name says it all. <clears throat> just for just two dollars, they give you warm, soft McDonald's biscuit drenched in delectable sausage gravy. That is straight to the toilet. For sure. <laughs> That's immediately to the bathroom. Yeah. As soon as it touches your lips. That's going to be a top five bathroom item. Right there, for sure. Yeah. I, I want to tell my doctor, how, how did you think this problem started? Yeah. I'm yeah. going to think. Well, I went to the McDonald's secret menu. That's how it all started. This is this is my guy right here. The you, land, sea, and fucking air fish Filet patty. Right oh, my there. God. If you're eating seafood at McDonald's, just know, just know, when you get the cancer results back, don't be surprised. Yeah. Don't be turning around blaming the universe for your cancer when you've been eating land, sea, and air for 25 plus, okay? That's not fair. You know what? And I secretly <laughs> love the fish fillet. It's disgusting, but it tastes amazing. Why, God, are you doing this to me? <laughs> like, what it's do you not mean me doing this to you. <laughs> it's not you. It's not God putting anything on you. You did this to yourself. <laughs> you cannot yeah, blame me. The twenty-five years of fast food you've been pumping through your fucking <laughs> system, guy. I'm the, I'm the only one that's been keeping you alive. Yeah, you should be thanking God for holding your body parts together. <laughs> oh my God. That's going to be me. That's going to be me. Why, God? I'm going to be blaming God. Uh, that's because you've been having fast food Saturdays for the last 50 uh, years. We uh, talk about blaming me for your cancer. He's just looking around. Is this guy fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> he's going to throw he's going to throw me under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> 
You've been having Pizza Party Friday for the last three decades. Let's which think. Is true, um, you're eating which a McNugget. Is the truth. I yeah. have. You're eating food that is going to be used to make your tires with. <laughs> I am accepting the fate. <laughs> so the same chicken consistency that's also used that's to make the bladder in your fucking tire. All right, well, tire. let's break this down. Let's break yeah. this down. The land, sea, you, and air burger. So what you're doing yeah. is you combine the meats of every element to form an epic but monstrous marvel of meat. Take beef from the land, fish from the sea, chicken from the air, and pile them up between a few buns, and you have the land, sea, and air. Oh, my God. I don't know if I could handle that. Would you throw up eating that? I don't know if I'd throw up. You know what we're going to have to do? Next week, we're both going to no. have to buy this, no. and then we'll have to eat it together. I'm not doing it. I'll do it. I'll do it for the show. <laughs> I'll do it for the show. <laughs> I don't know if I could get a fish fillet down. I'm not a fish guy. Oh, I love the fish fillet. I'll hammer it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what I said? I That's never what's would buy stopping it. me. It's the fact that I don't like fish flavoring. <laughs> Is that I... stopping me from eating the <laughs> Remember when I said you should never buy seafood from McDonald's? <laughs> Yeah, yeah uh, I'm also a hypocrite. Uh, the I'm also day. the guy crushing number nines. <laughs> yeah, with the cheese. I'll I'll have a couple, two, three fish fillets right in one yeah. sitting, just pop, pop. <laughs> um, All right. Yeah. Here's the breakfast one. Oh, yeah, the one I was talking about? Yeah, we got a couple uh, pretty decent items. Yeah, you can eat if you want. The we're, mix. Chop we're chopping this all up. Well, you already know. We got so the Mick 1035. <laughs> all right. The first breakfast secret menu item, the Mick 1035. This, this, this one, one, we, uh, this one speaks to the 1035 law. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. The Mick 1035, exactly <laughs> what we've just been talking about. It yeah. takes timing to get your hands on this savory breakfast lunch combination. Only available during the window 1030 and 11. This treat combines the best of both menus, the Egg McMuffin and the McDouble. Holy shit. So what you do is essentially is you take an Egg McMuffin and you put it between a McDouble. No, you take the McDouble and you put it around the McMuffin and then you take the, the muffin and you take it on top of that. Oh, yeah. That actually looks pretty good. What are the I Egg McMuffin that. Double? And engineers engineering yourself by putting the beef patties yeah. inside the McMuffin. You scrap the bun of the McDouble and you For basically marvel, jam those patties Marvelous into the miracle McDouble. of meat should never be in the same sentence with McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, I feel what like they've meat? used that now a bunch of times. <laughs> if the make if the White Castle burgers have to put a warning label, what do you think the yeah. size of the warning label is on the McDonald's one? <laughs> <laughs> On the McDonald's secret menu? Like all the back part of the fucking paper bag. <laughs> all right. right. The McCrit. Yeah. This one looks a little fancy. <laughs> Did you say fancy at McDonald's? <laughs> okay. The McCrip is you basically oh. take a pancake and you stick a, a parfait like in between it like a taco. So you take the pancake <clears throat> and you put parfait in it as like taco filling, and then you s sprinkle yeah. it with like looks like pecans. I'd eat that one. I, I don't know that. if I'd be able to actually make it; it all spill out everywhere. But I, it looks pretty good. We're gonna have to taste this. Uh, taste taste test this. Yeah, the McKinley right. Mac. What's this one? Okay, you have a Big Mac. And then there is options for yourself. This one doesn't look too great. No, that just looks like a Big Mac in which you take a McDouble and you stick it in the Big Mac. So it's just, just I don't know. 30 beef patties. Yeah, Here's like what I'm kind of interested in. in What's the, the Napoleon shake? Oh, that's nice. That looked pretty cool. 
This one yeah, looks okay. the best. The Pie McFlurry. Oh my god. That thing. So fucking if we're gonna do the land, sea, and air, we have to do the Pie McFlurry too. Did, I don't think didn't they discontinue apple pies? Oh, they may have. I don't know. I thought that's was like a like fat people were just up in arms about. <laughs> didn't you hear? It was like a revolution. Like pick on fat people like that. Wasn't there I like was a? Re- I don't know why you got to pick on bad people like that. Norm, everybody else was up in arms too. I'm pretty sure there was like a a, a revolution over this shit. <laughs> like a like a boycott was formed. Basically, every group of people on this planet are gonna hate us now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's all right. That's all right. I'm okay with that. That's, I'm okay with that. Pretty least, much everybody at least listening. Hates, hates us already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. If I didn't piss you off in person, I'm going to yeah, piss you exactly. off. <laughs> if we haven't done something to upset you, probably just wait. I learn from a lot of bridges I burn. <laughs> We're not easy people to get along with. No. I piss people off. That's all right. <laughs> all right, Napoleon, what do we got? It looks like just strawberry. Okay, the Napoleon uh, is... Vanilla chocolate the classic yeah so it's basically just you take a chocolate milkshake a vanilla milkshake and a strawberry milkshake and, and mix it together that's pretty simple yeah. i bet it's good okay keep this scrolling one, though, what else the got? shake everyone has that yeah and that's bullshit because they only bring it out like during once a month or yeah once during a your birthday yeah and saint patrick's day this go down your... no go the other way go the other way no. i want to see more items this is all we got for items no keep going Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, shit. But this is what I want to click We blew through that thing pretty fast. I know, but I want to click on the Chick-fil-A one because this is probably fucking... Chick-fil-A secret items? Yeah. The birth of the giant? Oh, Jesus. (laughs) What is the birth of the giant? One true caddy of a restaurant, dwarf grill, ordinary fried chicken, one business started to thrive, yada, 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 hey, Bill, I... Been to hate bill chicken da, da, da. after discovery register business illegally we didn't have in with chicken okay that's not a secret menu item that's just some sort of secret story thanks a lot chick-fil-a for just oh, wasting a- the last minute of my life <laughs> right there chick-fil-a secret menu yes all right what is that? what buffalo chicken sandwich the easy modification goes the extra mile to innovate how to enjoy a spicy chicken sandwich. Looks just ask for buffalo sauce on a chicken, on a spicy chicken sandwich. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't know that. Chicken quesadilla. Ooh, that looks good. Fried chicken club. These just look like items. These just look like modified items, not like. Nothing really de- constructed. Dust. Let's go to Diarrhea Kingdom Burger King. <laughs> and let's... Down to the bottom, right? Okay. Oh, I'm going to back it out here. Because Burger King drug test? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what the fuck is that thing? This is the, the win. Grand Slam or the Meat Cube. Oh, it's a Meat Cube, all right. <laughs> I'm a cheeseburger guy, but that feels that feels like too How do you much. Shit, that in your mouth, like you That's can't what I'm saying. Here's my rule for the cheeseburger. Here's my rule for cheeseburgers. Okay, if I get a cheeseburger and it's so big. That I can't open my mouth and take a single bite, bite of it. You've lost me. You're in the you're in the realm of freak cheeseburgers. When right? I like this thing here, this okay, like you you may as well just stack like 50 fucking meat patties. Cause I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to handle anything, right? Yeah. Like after you've gone, let's see. The cheeseburger rule should be if your cheeseburger exceeds. If I have to Six dislocate my jaw to eat if, this thing. Yeah, that's the rule. If your cheeseburger exceeds six inches in height, you've lost me. 
Like I can't, what am I going to fucking do with that? I can, I'll cut it up and eat it. But at that point, I'm just eating like a fucking deconstructed cheeseburger. Not even fun. Cause yeah, when you have to like, well, what's the point? A fork and knife, it sucks. Yeah. Just give me the fucking patties and shit. But that's uh, the T-Rex kind of looks good. Yeah. Oh God. 12 patties. There's no fucking way <laughs> to eat 12 Wendy's patties. Do you know how painful that's going to be on, on your body? <laughs> I mean, I get the fucking junior bacon cheeseburger and we got issues. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the one thing. When you go from eating clean and then you throw one of these fucking missiles in your body, it's just... You're going to have a bad afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Yeah. You're just doing stairs to the bathroom. <laughs> have you heard of Elon Musk? So, e obviously, you've heard of Elon Musk, but have you ever heard of his company, Neuralink? No, what do they do? So, what basically he's trying to do is he's trying to fix problem right now he's trying to put basically like computer chips into people's brains to fix a lot of neurological problems that have okay. arise from either birth defects or injuries and shit like that right right so, helping along the process yeah so um now they have moved past the animal trials and are um just started their opening up applications to start their human trials okay and um, so what now there's probably a bunch of groups of people out there that are gonna protest that and freak out about it right yeah kind of not really it's kind of really weird because people love elon so he kind of has like a, a rob gronkowski pass in a sense to do sort of this type of shit you know what I mean? Really? Like, like yeah. Rob can yell out 69 and people laugh. It's fine, right? Johnny Manziel did it. They, they'd be like, well, he's inappropriate. <laughs> he, <laughs> he needs to learn. Right. <clears throat> like, he can yell out 69. Jameis Winston says, like, uh, hit, uh, slap her in the puss and gets in trouble. <laughs> you remember right. that? Oh, yeah. Sorry. So this is the video they did on the monkey. Check this shit out. It's fucking wild. Nine year olds macaque. Can you hear this? Neuralink placed in yeah. About six weeks ago. If you look carefully, you can see that the fur on his head hasn't quite fully grown back yet. He's learned to interact with a computer for a tasty banana smoothie delivered through a straw. We can interact with the Neuralinks simply by pairing them to an iPhone. Just as you might pair your phone to a Bluetooth speaker. The links record from more than 2,000 electrodes implanted in the regions of Page's motor cortex that coordinate hand and arm movements. Neurons in this region modulate their activity with intended hand movement. For example, some might become more active when he moves his hand up and others when he moves it to the right. By recording from many neurons and feeding their activity into a decoder algorithm, we are able to predict Paige's intended hand movements in real time. First. Okay, so the real question is like how much longer till machines take over the world? So when does right? this Terminator... <laughs> that is wild. So when, does, yeah. so when does this Terminator fucking movie play out? <laughs> right, when is the Terminator movie going to start to play out here? Because have you seen some of the videos of these AI machines now that yeah. it look like humans? Have you seen this, Shannon? Have you seen the real... The, uh, Elon said they're already at fifth generation AI technology, which is it, you can't tell the difference between human. It's better than a human. Yeah. Right? Like, watch this. It gets crazier. As Pager uses the joystick to move a cursor to targets presented on the screen. As he's playing this game, we are wirelessly streaming in real time firing rates from thousands of neurons to a computer. Using these data, we calibrate the decoder by mathematically modeling the relationship between patterns of neural activity and the different joystick movements they produce. After only a few minutes of calibration, we can use the output from the decoder to move the cursor instead of the joystick. 
Pages still moves the joystick out of habit, but as you can see, it's unplugged. He's controlling the cursor entirely with decoded neural activity. <laughs> uh, <laughs> our goal is to enable a person with paralysis to use a computer or phone with their brain activity alone. How fucking Because great. they wouldn't be able to move a joystick, they would calibrate the decoder by imagining hand movements to targets. One of the things the neurons allow pages to do... That little dot would become your eye. Yeah. And your eye would just follow. That's crazy. Right side of the screen. Yeah, so we're all fucked, basically. So the Terminator experience is going to happen, right? Yeah, we're all screwed. What do we got? What do you think humans got left? You think 200 years? <sighs> Humanity? The last human. Maybe 500 years? I bet you 200 years. I, would... I bet not I bet not over 300 years. <clears throat> you know what's even more fucked up? I Environment, bet... AI, anything oh, else. World War. Like, uh, have you ever heard that famous quote? by kennedy he's like i'm not sure how world war three is going to be fought but i know the next war will be fought with sticks and stones <laughs> yeah right because <laughs> they're just gonna go it's just de they're gonna torch everything torch everything they're gonna nuclear yeah. fucking blow everything up but like, well, let's just enjoy part. it the rest of our time <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, at least hopefully madman can get us that spot so i'm not gonna before, really take yeah. any personal responsibility in that and mm -hmm. i'm gonna enjoy the rest of like the next what 20 or maybe 40 i got left here whatever the time is. really gonna squeeze out that lemon for the next 20 years yeah well here's the craziest part right if you think about it if you're a betting man you're probably yeah. going to put your money on we're closer towards an extinction than this thing being at the start. You know? Like, we're probably closer towards the end of this book than we are at the beginning. Right. So, yeah, just, just enjoy it. That being said, then it's like... We're going to have a lot of fun while we're here. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say 200 years. And make really. some people laugh. And try to. Have you heard Elon's prediction for, like, what's going to happen in the future? Did he predict that we were going to sell a TV show and make the world laugh? Um, that's going to happen. But still, maybe from his side. Uh, <laughs> yes, from our side. Be a maybe for him, dog. I haven't heard him personally say it, but when he looks, sometimes he stares at I'd us. Like for to a meet him? Oh, Wouldn't God. you like to meet him? Yeah, you know why? Because he's he's got great. He loves comedy. Like he. Well, and I think he he thinks outside the box. That's why I like him. Because he may see something about what you're doing that, like, other people won't see. Yeah. How about this? So, uh, you know his rocket ship? Have you ever seen Spaceballs? Or, um, have yeah, you ever... yeah, I've seen Spaceballs, like, a million times. Yeah, so he <laughs> loves Spaceballs. That's why he made the flamethrower. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember? That's hilarious. Selling the toys for the kids? Right, yeah. He goes, that's what got me interested in making the flamethrower, because we want to do it like Spaceballs. That's And funny. then... Did you ever see the dictator where they're making the he uh, the scene as they're showing their space program and he's like make the rocket more pointy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what he said. Like he uh, he was trying. Oh, to he's make, got a good sense of humor. Yeah, he was trying to. He goes. He was telling Elon, uh, my, uh, Joe Rogan. He was like trying to make it like dick shaped, like the rocket. And he's like, he's like, will that affect like the rockets like propulsion stuff? He goes, no, not at all. <laughs> Yeah, like he he loves how high. Like he loves Dave Chappelle, loves him. I'd like to meet him. How about our? Uh... <laughs> so, but his prediction, he goes, uh, AI technology is at fifth, the fifth generation. He yeah, goes, it's better than humans. So what's going to happen is eventually it's going to take over the workforce because robots don't complain. They work twenty four seven. So they never quit. I know because they're not real. Exactly, <laughs> they don't have right? souls. Because they don't have to deal with some fat tit. Because they just... don't have to deal with the human brain nagging at their fucking every second of existence. Yeah. That's why. Bending the knee to all their fucking like. like yeah. Uh, everyone... Imagine I need, if you didn't I need have to, to work from home Tuesdays and Thursdays for my mental health. You could get so much done. <laughs> 
Oh. Listen, if you didn't have the mental drag of being human, you could, I mean, you'd be a robot and you could get yeah. so much done. As right? fucked up as it sounds, but like a sweatshop worker gets work to the bone. A machine can outwork them because even though a sweatshop worker gets like what three hours, not of real. It's mechanical. Yeah. Gonna, so <laughs> Elon <laughs> says, everybody <laughs> wants to make them out like they're real. It's not. It's a machine. Of course, yeah. it can go forever. It's this computer go. is go, is can go forever. Yeah, without no, breaking a sweat. That's the fucked up part. <laughs> well, without because breaking, they don't sweat because they're not human. Yeah. <laughs> so what's gonna happen is uh. Uh, machines are going to take over a large amount of the workforce, which is going to create unemployment, which he goes at that point, you're going to need universal. There's going to be universal income because a lot of people will be unemployed because the machines can do their labor jobs without taking a break <laughs> and do it better. Yeah, it'll than be interesting. Them. Yeah, it'll be interesting. That may be past our time. <laughs>